we're really excited today to announce this partnership between the Pennsylvania Department of Corrections and uh, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Uh, in our community correction centers, uh, earlier last year, we allowed offenders in those community correction centers to have cell phones, but a specific type of cell phone. And we did that because we're really serious about doing a better job with reentry. Uh, however, those who don't follow those rules and uh, try to bring in cell phones that don't meet our, our criteria, they're confiscated. And they're confiscated by the uh, security folks in community corrections. So since we started that program, we've confiscated 1,100 cell phones. Uh, so as a caveat, if you hear something ringing, uh, we have 1,100 cell phones here uh, that we're going to turn over through Verizon uh, to the Pennsylvania Co Coalition Against Domestic violence, uh, for survivors of domestic violence. We're very excited about this program. Uh, as an administration, from the day that Governor Corbett was elected, we really wanted to focus our criminal justice system in general, and our correction system in particular, on victims. Making it a victim-centric system as opposed to an offender-centric system. Um, to that end, when we do good correction, when we uh, set up a system in corrections where people get out and are less likely to commit another crime, we have less victims. But this gives us an opportunity to directly benefit victims by handing these, these phones over. And we're very excited about this partnership. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, the administration does fund victim services through the Pennsylvania Com uh, Commission on Crime and Delinquency. And Linda Rosenberg uh, from the commission is here uh, representing the administration. And it's only $30 million uh, go to the victims' communities. Um, so we're excited to be able to give this additional um, service. And, and hopefully we'll, we'll have less and less inmates trying to smuggle phones in. But everyone that gets uh, uh, smuggled in, we're going to use for this purpose and hand over uh, to Verizon and ultimately to the co Coalition Against Domestic Violence. And let me introduce at this point Peg Durker with the, the Coalition. Good afternoon. We do want to say thank you to the Secretary, uh, especially to the Office of Victim Advocate who brought this opportunity to our attention. We have been partners with the Office of Victim Advocate and the Department of Corrections for quite a number of years, uh, restoring justice to people who have been victimized by crime. And as the Secretary has said, this is one more way that we can do that. Verizon, for more than a decade, has made cell phones available to victims of domestic violence for their emergency needs and for other day-to-day -day living needs while they, again, recover from their victimization and survive. So often we'll see that survivors use these phones uh, for job searches now that they're able, um, free from the abuse, to go back to work. Uh, perhaps to sign their children up for a new school because they've had to relocate, and of course to implement a really comprehensive safety plan to stay free from their abuser and be able to call 911 and law enforcement as necessary. The coalition, through our 60 programs, serve all 67 counties in the Commonwealth, and we help more than 90,000 victims each year. At least 8,000 of those are children. So these phones will restore justice to victims uh, and, in many cases, call life saving services to their rescue. So, again, we say thank you and look forward to continuing our work with Verizon. And at this point, I'd like to introduce Antonio Rodriguez. Uh, from Verizon to talk about the Hope Fund. Good afternoon. So on behalf of Verizon Wireless, I'm happy to be here. I recognize the leadership of John Wetzel and the Executive Director of the Coalition Against Domestic Violence. This significant donation uh, being made today will truly make a difference in the community we serve. I believe the Coalition agrees since over the past 10 years, Hope Line has donated over a million dollars to the coalition network of 60 network community-based programs and thousands of cell phones for the victims they serve. It is so important for corporations to 
collaborate with service agencies and government officials so we can work together to find solutions. Biden has committed to the community and prevention of domestic violence through programs such as Hope One. We seek to empower individuals with a healthy, safe, and independent lives. For 12, year, 12 years now, Verizon Hope Line has collected new cell phones to be recycled or sold, donating the proceeds in the form of cash grants and prepaid wireless phones to advocacy groups used by, to be used by the survivors since its launch. Since launch, Verizon collected over 10 million devices, properly disposed of over 2 million devices in an envir environmentally safe way. Refurbish units, which funded more than $18 million in cash grants for domestic violence organizations across the country. Distributed over 151,000 devices with the equivalent of more than 453 million minutes uh, to be used by victims, survivors, and the organizations. Again, we proudly recognize this joint effort and appreciate the opportunity to join you today. Thank you. Okay, if we could get a, a picture with the community corrections staff, victim staff, Linda, if you could come up. Then we'll answer a couple questions after we get a, a quick uh, photo. Let's stand in front of the podium so you can.